Hello everybody, this is Greg. Um, pretty much I want to say thank you all for, for, for coming to watch my show and pretty much I'm going to have a couple of things I'm going to do here to do here today. Um, what I'm going to do is pretty much here I have the different ingredients that I'm going to be working on. And first thing we're going to do, we're going to work on the potatoes. The potatoes are going to be the first thing. Then we're going to work on the chicken and then we're going to pretty much put everything into this um, new wave, new wave, um, um, it's a new wave uh, yeah, infrared cooker. So I have my trusty dusty Cutco knife here, which is my one of my favorite knives I use. It's pretty much my French chef knife. And so this knife is very good in terms of the fact that it's very sharp. I've had this knife for since 20, uh, 2001. So I've had this knife for many, many years, for 22 years. And this knife is still sharp. Anyway, so what I'm going to do right now, we're going to just pretty much clear the table off. And then from there, we're going to proceed to proceed to start getting the, the the area all prepared. So, first I'm going to make this up the table right here. Just over here behind us. Alright, the music that's playing in the background is, is Microsoft Hellbender. It's um, from um, the, the um, game uh, Hellbender. And what it is, is about a game where you are you are a spaceship, and in the spaceship, or you're pretty much you're trying to stop a robotic war from happening. And it's a pretty, pretty simple game. I like it because it was one of the first games I got to play on my my PC when I started getting involved in the PC and um, the PCs and um, with uh, computer um, programming or computer video game playing. So what's going to happen is this, right? First and foremost, we need to know exactly how many potatoes we need. So how this works is, you know, as you can see, I have an empty um, potato tray here and I'm pretty much a potato piece and potatoes. So how are you going to know how much to put in? So what I, I do is this: from the bottom. From the bottom of the from the bottom of the infrared tray is this part here, and this part here can come out, and this is the part that I use to judge exactly how many potatoes I'm going to need. So what I do, I have that there. This is the base for the for the infrared cooker. I put it back with the infrared cooker over there, and so what we're going to do, we're going to move it up a little bit so you can see a little bit better, All right? And so I'm going to take the chicken out of here too, put the chicken over in the white part of the base. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the potatoes out of the bag, we're going to rinse the potatoes, and we're going to fill the potatoes in here. Then we're going to cut the potatoes and I know exactly how many we need in order to, to fill up this part here. So we're going to go here to here, right, to find out how much, and we're going to put it in there. Then from there we're going to put it back in here when they're already cut. So this is going to be the first first stage. All right, so in the meantime, we're going to get the potatoes out, Let's bring this closer, and where you can see this, okay? This is good. So let's go ahead and do that. Potatoes out. So I like to rinse the potatoes in the water. So since we're in here in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take this knife out of the way for now. So I actually did bounce and cut myself. So here's this. With all the potatoes that have been washed into here. I have the music on loop, that's why I can play it. I have the music on loop. The potatoes are actually the best part. The kids love the potatoes the best. My wife and kids they love the potatoes because what happens is that when you cook the infrared chicken, the flavor the flavor um, of the chicken goes into the potatoes. And they absolutely go crazy about that. Alright, so.
I'm going to just end up using half the bag. But we, we're still not sure exactly how many potatoes we need. Because the number of potatoes that fit into this container here is the one that we have to be mindful of. Alright, so... This is what we're going to do. Come back here to clean the potatoes, or it's pretty much chop the pieces off of them, and then make it nice and good. So, here we go. This is this. Okay, this is the potatoes that we have so far. Let's see if it fits into the container unit. Let me see if I get a nice picture of that real quick before you go. But see, in the meantime, what happens is that you have the, the potatoes. Alright, I'm going to turn off the flash so it doesn't come off next time. Flash. Alright, cool. Cool. So I got potatoes. Let's put potatoes in here. Two. Yes, I'm going to cut the potatoes. Just going to see how many potatoes can actually fit into this container. My cutting board. Here, real quick. All right. So I think we can fit one more potato in here. Okay, so now what we're going to do, take the potatoes, put it back in here, and we're going to cut them, okay? Because uh, you have to have a spot to put it in, you know, you can't put it back into the spot that's already in because it's already loaded. So, this is, I know this is kind of like back and forth, but still, so here's everything. So back. We're actually going to end up having more potatoes. Because what happens when I cut them, they actually turn into more than the space that I um, have allotted for. Because what happens when you cut them, you also increase the size and the ratio. So anyway, so what's going to happen is that that's, that's one. All right, so that's that part there. That's the preparing the potatoes. Then after we're going to... Let's see if we can do this here real quick. All right, so there's that. Okay, the potatoes have now been separated. Let's go ahead and prepare the, the cutting table. Here we go. How's that? That's good? Okay, cool. Before I do this, let me see. I'm just going to stop here. That way you can keep it all separate. Okay, here we go. So pretty much here we go. Um, cutting the potatoes. So you have the edges.
It's always good to make sure you clean up your environment. Also, when you hold a knife, hold a knife like this. That way you have better control. I know people hold a knife, they put their finger on it, and that's not control. If, if you see people cut, you cutting, holding a knife with their fingers and pushing it, I mean, you could judge them. It could be like, you know what, they don't know how to handle a knife. But for the most part, though, it's like when you handle a knife, you want to make sure you hold it really well. And that it doesn't slip from your hand. Because you have better control. It's like, you know, um, when people hold swords, they don't put their finger on the sword. Right? And this is pretty much you working with swords here. Working with swords and all kind of stuff. Yeah, but I don't want to get, you know, live cut on the thing because, you know, that's another thing like, chefs get. Chefs get cut. I used to work in uh, Boston Market. And um, it was um, when they first started, it was because we called Boston Chicken. And so when I first started the company, I, I was um, assigned. I, I don't remember even how I got the job. I think one day I was walking by and said so they were hiring for a new job. And I was like, okay, I'll try for this. You know? So what ended up happening was um, I was um, the sandwich maker, I was the uh, chicken cooker. And so that's why, like, at Thanksgiving, the family has me, like, you know, work to take care of the chicken. I'm the chicken person, uh, the turkey person, too, because, I mean, you could do chicken, you could do turkey. So, anyway, so, that's why it's, like, this is one of the favorite meals of the kids. They love this because, one, it gets all the nutrients in it because we're going to roast a whole chicken, right? And when you roast a whole chicken, what's good about it is that you get all the good stuff, all the innards, all the good parts. And the kids love this because what happens is, right, when the more surface area you open up in these things, the better it is because cause what ends up happening is that the... The flavor, the flavor gets into all the potatoes. So the flavor from the chicken, the the fat from the chicken, all that goes right into the potatoes. So you have like a French fried, like a yummy French fried potato. You think that's so wonderful. And you wonder like, what about all the gravy and stuff? Well, let me tell you, gravy isn't really wonderful because it's like it makes its own gravy. See, so this is the dish, right, and the bottom of the infrared cooker. So what happens is that when you take this opportunity to one make it like this, what ends up happening is that you actually you actually get like um you do two things at the same time. You cook the potatoes, you because you know, usually potatoes take a long time to cook. It takes a long time to cook the chicken too. So at the same time, you cook the potatoes and the chicken at the same time. So incidentally, what ends up happening, you get a nice blend of herbs and spices. So let's see. So now I'm gonna just this one. Mm -hmm. You're trying to make it too thick, but you don't want to make it too thin. So it's like. So I have a whole assortment of knives, you know, because what happens is like, but this is one of my favorite one when I'm gonna cut the potatoes. This is the one I use for that. I have a bread slicer that's just like a sword. It's like a katana. It's so huge. And so what happens is like that's a bread slicer. And that's you know you wouldn't think it's a weapon, but you know it's it's pretty much it's a bread weapon. I slice that bread. Yeah. So you have like that. This is a too big. Let me just kind of cut this in pieces here. Increase the surface area. See, like it's already like I haven't gotten halfway through yet. I'm almost almost already full with the with all the spaces. Same thing too. You you want to kind of mix up the um the the batch because what's going to happen is that you're going to have a nice batch. It's gonna the, it's gonna soak up from the bottom up, you know, into the potatoes. And as it, as it like cooks, it's gonna suck up all the nice yummy chicken grease and stuff because it's not just chicken grease like yucky grease, it's actually good stuff. And it's like, that's good stuff your body needs. Your body needs the fat, by the way. Your body needs that because these people and their, their lies, man. Anyway, well, I'm gonna tell you more stuff because I want you to kind of enjoy this video. So here goes that. Let's cut it this way. Anyway, so I used to make sandwiches, and um, they have to they have to make the sandwiches from the chicken. We had a thing where we cut the chicken, and then chicken pieces. We'd have to take a, a bunch of it and then turn it into like um, sandwich meat. So that was very helpful when it comes to like Thanksgiving because I could take pick the pick the turkey or pick the chicken depending, and then from there we make nice sandwich meat, which is not really hard to do, and uh, the bones we left over for soup. So we're trying to waste any of the materials, you know. So, so even the stuff that we're cutting off, you know, we try to grow them back. So we actually have potatoes that we're trying to grow in the house as well. We ha we do we do our own growing our vegetables and stuff too in the house as much as we can. Yeah, you should too, by the way. You should learn how to do that, and when you do that, you'll be able to, you know, affect lately better your environment and your situation. Not to mention, you know what you're cooking, you know. See, because I know I don't even put. I just put garlic salt and garlic, garlic um. um 
granulated, granulated um, garlic. Uh, yeah, just cut this one into four pieces. Yep, that's how we know. Pay attention. You cut things into four pieces. Yeah, I cut that one too small. I'm going to try and cut it back to the normal size I normally do. So it's going to be like this way. I would just sit back to the knife to scratch things over. You don't want to dull the knife. Okay. This knife I've had for so long. It used to be a knife seller. Pretty much a lot of jobs. Okay. A lot of work. I'm taking over to to YouTube. See how I could do stuff, you know. I want to make some of those cool like those cool props those guys are making. Like they make like, like slingshots and things. They're so cool. Anyway, so. That'd be cool to make. Oh, the reason why I do this, by the way, I kind of mix up the pieces so that they can get in between. You don't want it to be like stuck together and they don't come apart. So you kind of have to take it and just kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Got to handle the food. Have it in between. That way we have different shapes and sizes. And then, yeah, I mean, you could go back in and make it really nice and good. Which I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to just kind of go back to the edges and do like a ratatouille from the movie Ratatouille. How do you do that? You know, with the kind of come along and kind of make it into a nice little pattern where it's all like nice and smooth, you know, so when you look at it, it's like, you know, nice little, um, where all the, the bigger faces are facing the ground, they're going to absorb the majority of the juices when it comes down. This here, let's see if I can just kind of speed up a little bit, so, you know, because I mean, you can't be cooking and taking all day. They said, uh, we learned something about, they said the cooks, they said cooks have a really hard time actually, I didn't know that. I thought cooks were because they love cooking their food. I didn't know they were under such stress, but I guess they are, are under stress. But you know, because their whole restaurant rests on their ability to cook quickly. You know, that Ratatouille movie really kind of shows you a little piece of it. But really, cooking, especially with the fact that that guy he couldn't cook. You know, he couldn't cook. Time for me to clear my my palette. See, this one looks a little dark inside, so I'm not sure where they keep going with it. It's dark right here, a little, dis a little discolored. But 
Alright, let's put the computer right there. Okay, so switch it up. There's this and this. Okay, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 more to go. I don't think we're going to be able to fit all of it. See, this is why you kind of like get to measure it because when you measure it and you cut it, you're still going to run out of space. It's just, it's just sometimes you got to stack some on top, but you can even go back in and cut it some more in half. Cut the half in half, you know? Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see what goes from. Yeah, we cooked the whole skin too, by the way, because the skin is really good. You just gotta make sure you cut off the um, the, the seedlings. It's like the the ice. You know, now I go just messing up my order. Messing up my pattern. I haven't said it much in a, in a while, but just pretty much what's going on is um, I'm just like putting together the, just cutting together all the pieces, 
And you know this is pretty much what watched me doing this for the last few minutes. Oh, pieces fly off right there. Alright, so we're down to almost run out of space here. But I'm gonna keep going. Alright, so we're running out of space. So how many potatoes I got left? Look at that. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potatoes left. And I'm almost down to no potato space. See, because what happened? You cut a potato, you cut it in half. So that means so it's not like exactly half. It's like I'm not sure exactly the the, the the equation and the ratio, but it's like I mean I have that many left, but I have you know probably can put some more in there. But for the most part, I'm just let's see. I want to cut this. I want to slice this. Yeah. Ah, Tito! Don't wow! You scared me. Hi, I'm recording. Alright, so it seemed like I could probably get one more potato in there. See how many potatoes I got left? What I'm going to do with the rest is I'm going to put them back in the bag because they're not like, they've been washed, but they're not like, um, uh, what's the word? They're not cut, so they can actually go back in the bag with the others. But I'm going to squeeze like maybe two more potatoes in here, and then from there we're going to be able to, um, you know, proceed to our next stage of the, of the development. Which means the seasoning, and then the... Probably wonder why did I cut it like this. I mean, I don't really know why I cut it like this, but I think I think the reason why I cut it like this is I can actually hold it and keep it together. Because if I start cutting the edges, then the edges are going to come apart. And so right here, I can keep the entire thing together, so it's not like um not, not being diced up and, and and dragged away from each other. You know, because I mean, like if you if you have a little piece, you see, I'm going to show you. If I cut it from this way first, right? I have that piece and I have that little piece hanging there and this piece hanging there and it loses the control. So if I cut it in the middle, right, and I start cutting from the middle, I can actually, I mean, there's other people who do it and they just kind of do the thing where they just kind of slice and slice and they go quick. But I'm just like taking my time because, you know, when you cook, you're supposed to cook with love. You're not supposed to cook with haste or rage or frustration because you'll poison your food. So when you, when you cook like this, you're kind of like taking the opportunity you're taking the opportunity to show how much love you have, you know, and you love the people that you're going to serve, and you are happy because the fact of the matter, you're making something that didn't exist before. You know, it was different things, like like the masking tape. You you make stuff that, that wasn't there before, and you turn it into something that's, that's way better, and people can eat it, you know? Because, you know, art is about, like, I think art. If a person can be an artist, they, can sh they should be a cook, too. You know, and so pretty much if you can do computer programming, you could probably do cooking as well. You know, make a nice meal. Keep yourself healthy because if you don't, you know, you know, it's all about health and maintaining yourself. Because if you don't eat right, they say food, let food be your medicine, they say. So definitely the cook has to have a good attitude when they cook the food too. So you have that thing. So we, we are a robust people. We are big people. We, we are... We need to eat, and so my wife has done a real good job in terms of like you know getting food prepared for us. You know, she's done a real good job in that. She's she's um got the best food for us in terms of like ongoing. We hardly drink soda like once in a while, but for the most part we don't. We stay away from it. We stay away from um, a lot of junk foods. You know, and then we also when it comes to like our video games and intake and, that, and things like that, we only have the kids in the lab in the video game for like an hour and a half. 
um, pretty much every night. The kids, we homeschool our children, and so they are able to, you know, we are able to help them see the progress of what they're going through and be able to work with them directly. And that's really cool because, you know, since the beginning of time, people have been homeschooling their kids, you know? And so what happens is, like, you know, society, modern society is where people put the kids in public school now. Not judging if you put your kids in public school. Just know that, that we don't put our kids in public school. So don't, judge, don't judge us. All right, so here's just for that. I'm going to... I'm going to stop the camera here for a little bit because I'm, I'm about to run out of um, opportunity um, to t do that. I'm going to make a, like, a short video for YouTube, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Let me just do that. Stop right here.